Konnichiwa. Today we'll be looking at an article from NHK Easy about horses in Hokkaido. Hokkaido, undo ga tarinai uma o yuki no ue de hashiraseru. Hokkaido, otofuke cho no bokujo de wa mai toshi, fuyu ni naruto, undo ga tarinaku naru tame, uma o yuki no ue de hashirasete imas. 18日の朝は気温がマイナス17度まで下がりました。87頭の馬が3つのグループになって800メートルのコースを3周走りました。帯広市から来た女性は馬は力が強くてかっこいいと思いましたと話していました。雪の上を走る馬は29日まで見ることができます。牧場の人は新しいコロナウイルスが広がらないように緊急事態宣言が出ているところや札幌市からは来ないようにしてほしいと言っています。First, let's have a little bit of a look at the map and see where we're talking about. So, we had two place names in plus Hokkaido mentioned in this article. The first one was this one up here, Otofukecho. And then a bit further south, we see our Obi Hiroshi. Now, we see it's about 20 minutes by car、uh, between the two, so relatively close. And if we zoom out a bit here, we see that we're on the island of Hokkaido, which is obviously the, the place in the title. And we see it's kind of,、uh, this, is, this is Sapporo, which is the major city of Hokkaido. So it's,、um, I'm not exactly sure how far away that would be, but it's, it's pretty close. I mean, Hokkaido is not a particularly big island, but it's.、Um, You know, reachable by there's, there's obviously a big train network up there. And、uh, I've, I've been to Sapporo and Asahikawa, but I've never been、uh, any further west or sorry, any further east of、uh, Asahikawa. But anyway, this is where we're talking about. So obviously, the, Hokkaido is the northern island of Japan, and we're in winter in Japan right now. And、uh, Hokkaido gets very cold in the winter, okay?、Um, when I was there in、uh, like January, February of 2010, I want to say it was minus 15 degrees the first day I got there, and it got down to minus 20 on some days. And with the wind, it feels even colder. It's it's really quite a cold place. And that was in I was in Sapporo, by the way. So Sapporo is you know pretty far, it's south really of Hokkaido. This northern part of Hokkaido, you know, if you look across here, this is、uh, Russia over here.、Uh, this is、uh, Vladivostok, is somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah, Vladivostok. So, Vladivostok is kind of on the same line as Sapporo. So, that's how cold it gets. Now, as always, when reading these types of articles online,、uh, NHK Easy, of course, has this bit where you can turn on the footy gunner,、uh, which is always useful if you can't read something. Another option when reading articles like this is using Rikai chan. And、uh, Rikai chan,、uh, I've done a video about this before, but we can basically highlight things and all work out what the word is. But we don't need Rikai chan for this one. So, Hokkaido. So, this is our island, of course, up north. We've got Undo ga tarinai uma. All right, now, of course, we're dealing with horses, and this, these are our uma. And what we see going on here is that it's, we're kind of describing uma using this little clause here, I guess you'd call this. And it's Undo ga tarinai. Now, undo is exercise or activity, and tari nai is the negative of tariru. And tariru is to be sufficient, so tari nai to not be sufficient. And our ga particle is showing us that undo ga tari nai. So basically, it's saying horses which are not getting enough exercise, which don't have enough exercise. Or, so basically, that thing, yuki no ue de hashiraseru. Now, hashiraseru is a little bit of a tricky word.、Uh, it's a kind of an advanced grammar point, I would say, but this hashiraseru means kind of to force someone to do something or to let someone to do something. It depends on the context here. And it's conjugated version of hashiru, which is to run. So it's basically to force someone to run. In this case, it's the horses, right? Now, in this situation, it's kind of forcing the horses to run. And we can see that relationship here because it's this o, right? Right, this is our three, this ring, the, the horses which don't get enough exercise are being forced to run. I guess you could say made to run. <laughs> Force may be a bit of a strong word, but anyway. And then we see it's、uh, yuki no ue de. 
So on top of the snow, running along the snow, which is of course what we can see is happening in this picture. All right, so first of all, we're talking about our, uh, our Otof Kecho, so that city I showed you on the map before. Now this is a bit of a tricky word, Bokujo. You can also read this as Makiba, uh, but basically this is a like a cattle ranch or a, a stock ranch, so a farm which has a, a livestock on it, generally uh, cows is going to be the big one, but this one is horses. So Dewa Mai Toshi. So every year on this farm, we'll say in Hokkaido, this cattle ranch, uh, horse ranch, Fuyu ni naru to. Right. So here, to is our natural conditional. So basically, when it becomes winter, undo ga tari naku naru tame. All right, now I mentioned before that Hokkaido gets very cold, and this means that it's a problem for the horses, right? They, uh, uh, um, a bokujo is like a big wide open farm with place to walk around and get exercise normally. But of course, when it starts getting cold, the horses can't really bear this kind of temperature. It's, it's too cold. So they tend to, I guess, stay in the stables or something like that. And so they're not moving. And so they're not getting a lot of exercise. So this is what happens to them. It's tari naku naru tame. Now this is, I would say, a JLPT N4 grammar point uh, or a year 12 grammar point. But it's really kind of saying, well, something becomes, right? Naru, something becomes. And what does it become? Tari naku naru. So it kind of becomes insufficient and the undo. Yeah? So it's kind of saying, well, as it becomes winter, the horses are kind of stuck inside their stables. Uh, which is referred to as a baba, uh, I think. But uh, they're kind of stuck inside their stables, so they, you know, tame is kind of because of this. So because they're kind of not getting enough exercise or it kind of becomes insufficient exercise, uma o yuki no ue de hashirasete imasu. All right, so we see this is just from the headline again, but they're kind of being made to run on the snow. I don't have a whole lot of experience with running on snow, but I'm assuming it's it's not super easy. So it's good exercise. So the morning of the 18th. Now we can see that this article was published on the 20th. So it was Hatsuka, uh, desne. So two days earlier. So Juhachinichi no Asawa says the morning of the 18th. Kion ga minus 17 do made sagarimashita. Now Kion is our air temperature and minus 17 do, obviously minus 17 degrees. Made. Sagarimashita. So the temperature dropped until uh, minus 17. Okay, so minus 17 is basically the minimum temperature for that morning. It fell all the way to minus 17. So pretty cold, but not unusual, uh, as I mentioned before, not unusual weather for Hokkaido at this time of year. We've got Hachiju Nanato. Now, if you watch my earlier video I did on counters, I mentioned this one, but to is used to count large animals. Okay, so here a horse counts as a large animal. So, Hachiju Nanato no Uma ga, so uh, 87 horses uh, ga Mitsu no Grupu ni natte, so they were kind of put into three groups. Hapyaku metro no Kosu, so 800 meter course, or Sanshu Hashirimashita. Now, this is another counter, Sanshu. This wasn't, this wasn't in my counter video, so this is a bit of an advanced one. And we can see it's that number three entry in there, counter for laps or circuits. Okay, so we've got an 800 meter course and they've been made to do three laps of the 800 meter course. Obihiroshi, uh, this is that other place that I point out, the city of Obihiro. Karakita Jose, so a woman who came from Obihiro wa, so as for her, uh, uma wa chikara ga tsuyokute, so they're, they're powerful, they're strong. Kakoi to omoimashita. I thought they were cute. Now, this uh, is an interesting grammatical point, and this is where English and Japanese do differ a little bit. So, when you think about this, they're interviewing this woman after the fact, right? And go, hey, how'd you, what did you think about the horses? And she's kind of saying, oh, I thought they were cool, or I thought they were awesome, kind of thing. Kakoi can have a few translations. But notice, kakkoi is in the present tense, whereas omoimashita is I thought, this is in the past tense. But if you notice what we say in English, I thought they were cool. I thought they looked cool. I don't know, some kind of situation like that. We're also putting, you know, technically kakkoi into the past tense as well, 
but you don't do that in Japanese. This is a big difference between the two languages. And the reason is that when you say to or mo, you are quoting your thought at that time. So when she saw the horses at that time, she thought they are cool. And she's just quoting, well, that was the thought I had back then. So you say to o m o i m a s h i t a Okay? Now, you could also say kakko yokatta desu. Chika, you know, you could say uma wa chikara ga tsuyokute kakko yokatta desu. That would be fine. You say they were cool. But if you're specifically talking about the thought you had, you have to say the thought in the present tense. And I guess it's not technically the present tense, but it's, it's the present tense as of the time that you thought the thought. And then you say o m o i m a s h i t a to put that thought into the past. So a big difference there.、Um, if, you, if you say kakko yokatta to o m o i m a s h i t a then you kind of are implying that, okay, at that time you thought they were cool. But because you say kako yo kata, it's like you're ending the thought and you therefore don't think that they're cool anymore. You thought they were cool, but that thought has finished and now you think different. Generally, people are going to assume you now think that they're not cool or something like that. But just be careful of that. It's a very easy mistake to make.、Um, and you basically sound like a, a bit of a child when you speak like this. It's, but it's a very common mistake.、Uh, I mean, I catch myself making this every now and then. But yeah, if you just kind of think omo is. Quoting the thought you had at the time, and then use the tense of a m o l to talk about when the thought happened. That's how I kind of approach it.、Uh, the Imabi website has a good,、uh, under the, the heading is called the particle to to.、Um, so just have a go and check that out、um, to get a good explanation of how to o m o l works. Anyway, so to hanashte m a s h i t a So she said this thing to the reporter or whatever. You know where Hashiro Uma wa, so the horses that run on the snow. 29日まで見ることができます。Now, 見ることができます。You can see something.、Uh, I've got another video on potentials if you want to check that out. And 29日まで。So, as of this article, nine more days. Okay? So, until nine more days, you can see them running on the snow. Now, take note here that this doesn't necessarily mean you won't ever be able to see these horses again. Of course, they're still on the farm. You just won't be able to see them run on the snow until next year. I guess. Last little bit. Bokujo no hito wa, so basically the farmers, right? The people who work on the farm. Tarashi krono virus ga hirogara nai yoni. So,、uh, yoni after a verb like this often means in order to. So, in order to not have the、um, COVID 19 spread, kinkyu jitai sengen. Now, this is a bit of a fancy word. If you guys have been reading NHK Easy, Uh, for the last year or so, you would probably be very familiar with this phrase. But this is an emergency declaration, okay? So this is put out by、uh, the Japanese government saying, hey,、um, you know,、uh, be careful in these areas, don't travel to these areas.、Um, you know, basically, kind of, it's not really a lockdown, but it's you know, trying to encourage people to be careful, right?、It's、declaring a state of emergency is how I've seen it being translated. So, got de deru. So, deru is to appear or to come out or something like that. So, you know, the declaration has come out, tokoro. Now, what they're actually referring to something here that's been discussed in previous NHK Easy articles, but、uh, this emergency declaration is kind of recent and it covers Tokyo and the surrounding three prefectures. Okay. So, when they say kinkyu、uh, jitai sengen or ga de deru tokoro, that's what they're referring to. Tokyo. Uh, Chiba, and I can't remember the other two, but I would say probably like Saitama or Gunma or something like that. But basically, the three areas surrounding Tokyo. So, all three of these are, are covered under there. Ya Sapporoshi kara. So, from Sapporoshi. Now, I showed you on the map where Sapporo is. It's a little bit west of these two、uh, town city places. So, wa konai yoni. Now, we saw earlier that yoni, when it came after a verb, Kind of, we have this little shorthand phrase of in order to, to capture the meaning of this. Another phrase that works, especially when you're talking about the actions of people that involve、uh, free will, then it's more like make an effort not to do. So it's kind of emphasizing that, telling other humans, right? It's like human to human,、uh, make an effort not to do whatever thing, right? Now, in this instance, The farmers don't want people coming from these places to the farm right now just because we have this emergency declaration and then we also, um, uh, Sapporo as well, it's just a big city. 
So um, maybe people would like to go out and see it. You know, for example, this woman uh, before, you know, she came all the way from a nearby place to come see it. So maybe other people might want to do that. But they're just saying, well, uh, if that was the case, you know, make a conscious effort to not come. And then this uh, comes from our ni suru. I've done a video on this. You can check it out. But it means to make a conscious choice. So they, the farmers are basically saying, we want you to make a conscious choice to take steps to avoid coming here if you're coming from these places. All right. Now, this is a pretty common way of speaking in Japanese, but it's kind of the two ways that a yoni sentence can go. This first time, hirogara nai yoni, kind of we, we don't, you know, we're doing things in order so that the virus doesn't spread. Um, there's not really a human, uh, we're not attributing anything to the virus per se there. Just kind of saying, well, we are going to take steps. But then, konai yoni, well, we're talking about human action here. So it's more saying, hey, you guys, you know, actually have to think about this and try and avoid coming here. Shite hoshi to itteimasu. Now, this shite hoshi I've dealt with in um, uh, other videos before, but when we have te hoshi, it's where you want someone to do something, basically. So shite hoshi, they want, I mean, literally here it is want to do. So... Uh, you can say um, it's it's really the farmers saying this. So the farmers are saying, hey, we would rather you didn't come if uh, you're coming from this state of emergency area or from Sapporo, okay, because Sapporo is a big city. So basically, sorry, don't come here to watch this because um, um, of the virus, right? So this is what they're saying. They, they're saying it's kind of cool and all and it's nice to see, but... Just because of the virus, we don't want people coming out here and possibly further causing the spread. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope this article was useful. I thought this was quite a good article. It tests a lot of uh, vocab knowledge, some good grammatical structures in there, and also a good point about to'omo kind of thing. It's e easy to miss these kinds of things. Uh, I'm also doing blogs on my website, acejapanese.com. I do a weekly blog there where I talk about pretty much anything to do with Japanese. I talk about my own experiences living in Japan. Uh, this week I did a bit of a grammar post about uh, kara and noda and nodakara. So have a look at that. I generally try to make them uh, relatively short but informative. I try and do little cultural aspects uh, as well, little things I've picked up about the country. So if you're interested in learning about Japan, Japanese culture, or the Japanese language, check out my website, acejapanese.com. You can also find all my videos on there, um, plus some little blurbs I've done about the videos. And of course, you've got my contact details on that website as well if you want to get some Japanese lessons from me, because I can teach you to read, write, and speak Japanese to a very high level in that you can read an article like this with no problems at all. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Jane!